We're now joined by Pima County Sheriff Clarence Dubnik. Thank you for coming out this morning. My pleasure. Sheriff, you just heard Pierre say no evidence of a broader conspiracy. Does that uh, square with what you know right now? That's absolutely the case. There's no doubt that this individual acted alone. No doubt he acted alone. No doubt at all. But th how about the ties that he might have had some loose ties to that white supremacist website, the American Renaissance Project? Well, we're still uh, uh, actively pursuing uh, any activities that he might have been involved in. I'm not aware of any strong ties that he has to any group. This uh, individual is a very troubled individual, and he's a typical troubled individual who's a loner. So the bottom line is he acted alone, and the target was Congresswoman uh, Giffords. There's a eyewitness testimony to that, and there's documents to that effect. You know, we've also heard from neighbors of his who said that police had been keeping an eye on the Lofner house for several days or, or weeks. Is that true? No, it's not. That's just not true? No. So he was not on your radar before the no. shooting on no, Saturday? No, he, uh, uh, Pima College has their own law enforcement agency, and they had some contacts with him when he was a student there. But, but beyond that, you, he had not come across your radar? No. And what is he doing right now? I know that uh, initially he had, he had taken his Fifth Amendment rights. Is he cooperating now with not investigators? At all. Not talking at all. Not at all. Has he said anything? No. Not a word. Not a word. Silent for 48 hours. Basically. Basically. So you're going to bring him to court today. Meanwhile, uh, you, of course, have been very busy over the weekend and, and haven't pulled any punches on, on the political climate here. You believe, you said very clearly, you believe the political climate has helped create an atmosphere of hate that can touch. Uh, people like Jared Loeffner. Um, is, that, is that still what you believe, or do you think now that this is something just completely separate? Um, you know, I suppose you can speculate to your heart's content, but I think many people have felt for a long time, that, and many people are very upset with what's going on in America, that we have become a very angry country, a part of it very ugly, and that even though we have free speech in this country, uh, constantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, making the people angry at government, public officials, elected officials, and so forth, may benefit some party, but I think those people have to consider that they may have some responsibility when think, incidents like this occur and may occur in the future. I know that Congress right now is really concerned about their own personal safety, everybody in Congress. Uh, these people come out uh, when they leave the Capitol, and they have no protection at all. Unless there's specific information, law enforcement doesn't get involved in any of their public appearances. That, that is true, Sheriff, but as you know, even you know, the, the senior senator from Arizona, Senator Kyle, uh, said that since there's no evidence that Jared Loeffner was incited by the media, it was wrong for you to speculate about that. I just expressed my opinion. I'm, I, I was very angry at the time I said those things, and I'm still angry. Uh, Gabrielle Giffords is one of the most beautiful human beings ever created by God, and so is Judge John Roll. I know these people personally, and I'm very, very affected by what occurred personally, and I'm just expressing my feelings. I have no agenda. Uh, well, I take that to heart. Sheriff, thank you very much, but your bottom line right now is you believe that the shooter acted alone. That's okay. correct. Sheriff Dipnick, thanks very much. Thank you.